Hey bassoons, let's take a look at your warm up too. I'm gonna start with the descending exercise, okay? Our notes are getting a little lower each time, uh, so let's check it out. All right, so our first two measures, we're simply moving between B flat and A, lifting up thumb, and then back to B flat. Shouldn't be a problem there, right? Measures three and four, now we're going A, and then A flat, make sure you're using that bottom pinky down there, and then back to A, right? <clears throat> And then the next two, it's A flat, then just lift up that far pinky for G, back to A flat, okay? Now we're on the second line, G. Now remember for G flat, we're gonna use that thumb that's right underneath your pancake, okay? And also, remember, go ahead and press down your low F key as well. So G, and then add, whoop, that thumb and pinky for low G flat, and then back to G. Then the next two we go G flat, and since you already have that low F key down on G flat, all you have to do to get to low F is lift off your key, your thumb, and then put thumb back down for G flat. And finally, for the last two measures, we're gonna do low F. And to play the low E, you can see I've put on there plus pancake, you're just gonna add your pancake key. So the fingering for low E is like a low F plus your pancake thumb. Okay? All right, so let's see if we can walk ourselves down. My metronome is set at 70 for this. Let's see if I can scoot out. Maybe you can see a little better here. All right. One, two, descending. <laughs> down you should feel your jaw kind of opening up even more molars getting farther apart to help us get that low e out okay all right have fun with your descending exercise <laughs> 